were talking over dinner last night and you said that humans are way more dangerous and terrifying than animals and you've had some very close encounters with animals. Can you just explain that and give us some examples of what you mean? Yeah, so well, I find like when I'm traveling, I go off, often to some really remote areas, um, often where people have never seen Westerners before. Um, and I find that people are much more unpredictable than the wildlife. So I've come into contact with bears. Um, I've been stalked by lions as well, which that was, was quite a terrifying experience as well. Um, but I put myself into their habitat. So I kind of, I accept that risk and I understand the risk that I take uh, when, when I do that. But what I find is people are so unpredictable. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's so many, um, you know, particularly as a female traveling in some of these areas as well, there's certain areas of the world that I've been to where I knew that if there wasn't a male team close by, I would literally have just disappeared. Um, and, and I find that uh, quite scary, really. And I find, I, what I find is that as I'm traveling more now, I'm finding that the world's becoming less stable. Um, and something that uh, I'm, myself and my partner, who also does the same work, we're being approached more for now is actually uh, for high profile uh, people who are receiving death threats um, and they want their children to be trained in sort of prepperism and sort of escape and evasion. So, I mean, a technical term for it is when the shit hits the fan, um, is, that, <laughs> is that what do the children do in those situations because they're targets uh, for kidnapping and mm -hmm. um, ransom and things. Um, so we're working with some high profile children yeah. uh, coming up with some plans of what they do if, mm -hmm. if they need to run. Mm -hmm.